Hello, and welcome to our review of the week's TV. With me today is the television critic Michael Stein. Michael, what did you think was the best programme of the week? Well, I've chosen the last programme in the Channel 4 series, That'll Teach Em. Hmm. I must say, I found the whole series absolutely fascinating. For those of you who didn't see it, what the programme did was to take a group of 30 16-year-old children and send them, as an experiment, to a boarding school for one month. But it wasn't a modern boarding school. It was a 1950s boarding school. They recreated exactly the same conditions as in the 1950s. The same food, the same discipline, the same exams. The idea was to compare education today with education in the 1950s. I bet it was a shock for today's school children. Well, it was, of course. It wasn't just the classes. It was the whole atmosphere. I mean, they had to wear the uniform from the 50s. Horrible, uncomfortable clothes. They hated them. And they weren't allowed to leave the school once for the whole month, or watch TV, or use mobiles. <laughs> and they had to have cold showers every morning, and go for cross-country runs. <laughs> <laughs> what was the worst thing for them? The food, definitely. Most of them hated it. They said it was cold and tasteless, and the girls didn't like the cold showers much either. <laughs> What about the classes? Well, of course, the biggest difference for the kids was the discipline. It was silence all the time during the lessons. Only the teacher spoke. And anyone who misbehaved had to go to the headmaster and was either caned, hit on the hand, or had to stay behind after class and do extra work. And, of course, they couldn't use computers or calculators. But, curiously, the kids didn't really mind that. And, in fact, most of them found the lessons interesting. Some of them said they were more interesting than their normal lessons. They had to work very hard, though. So what happened in the end? Did they pass the 1950s exams? No, <laughs> most of them failed, although they were all really bright children. There was only one child who actually passed all the subjects. So do you think that means exams really used to be harder in the 1950s? No, I think the kids failed because exams in the 1950s were very different. The children in the programme will probably do very well in their own exams. On the other hand, 1950s children would probably find today's exams very difficult. How did the kids themselves feel about the experiment? They were really positive. In general, they had a good time and they all felt they learned a lot. I think it made them appreciate their own lifestyle more. <laughs> Some of them actually said it was the best month of their lives. It was an interesting experiment and the programme was really well made. I very much enjoyed watching it.